episode of RB's Vinyl Corner and I'm really happy to welcome you again to yet another one of my videos. Now I just want to say thank you very much for tuning in over and over again and making it actually fun for me to make these videos because without you the viewer there would be no fun at all. So thank you for that and my previous video was about this wonderful Shake and Steve's box set The Fire and the Blood and um, we got some nice compositions going on there. I really like it that posting something, dropping something, and then starting discussions uh, about content or about whatever it is I'm showing. Today I want to talk about one of the albums from the box set uh, because the box set actually inspired me to, uh, to listen more to shaky stuff. Uh, not that I didn't do that before, but it really re-sparked really an interest and uh, and uh, so uh, and in, in the, the previous video before the box set, I was discussing my favorite Shaky album, which is Shaky. And in, like, in a similar way, today I want to talk about another Shaky album, which is actually the follow-up to that album, which is called Give Me Your Heart Tonight. It's, of course, also in the box set, and the CD is completely remastered, uh, but I always uh, felt that the original masters sounded great to begin with and uh, if you listen to this album you will probably agree also when you listen to the shaky album that the sound of those early shaking recordings are fabulous um so today i'm going to talk about uh give me your heart tonight now by the time this album came out shaky was already like a hit machine like releasing hits after hits after hits his first uh, uh, like starting with this old house album, this old house, Marie Marie, big hits, and then the follow of Shaky, You Drive Me Crazy, Green Door was a big hit, It's Raining. So then uh, this album spawned a couple of a couple more hits, which are Oh Julie, of course, his self to Oh Julie, which became a massive hit, and I think it became his first number one hit as well. And uh, surely I'll be satisfied and the, the ever beautiful Give Me Your Heart Tonight. So together with this one, This Little House and Shaky, that is already like half or more of half uh, of his greatest hits album that would came out in 1984. So hit machine, hit after hit after hit. And, and this album is interesting because like half of this album, he actually, uh, of almost half of this album uh, are songs he wrote himself. He wrote uh, Josephine, he wrote uh, Oh Julie, he wrote uh, Don't Tell Me We Were True, Bop Dee Bop, uh, Yeah, You're Evil, all songs he wrote himself. Uh, and alongside the covers on this album and the songs on this album, they really, really blend in. So really nice rock and roll tracks. So the album, it, overall, is really a great album. And I have the feeling when I listen to this album that the producers must have thought that, oh, we got a hit machine here, so now we're gonna go bigger, better, bolder, like, and we're gonna really expand on his sound by adding a huge brass section. Trumpetists, saxophones, trombones, he added it to this to make the sound fuller and more bombastic. And that is what you get when you listen to this album. A really, really bombastic uh, listening experience. And it's not always for the good. Uh, sometimes it's really a little bit too much if you ask me and it's it's really the, the the back to basic sound of this whole house and the shaky album that i admire so much just the bass the drum the piano the guitars and the guitars are amazing on those albums and on this album they just added this whole brass section and it makes it like really like really i don't want to say chaotic but it's really loud in comparison to the other stuff but there are actually two sections on this album. We have the brass section, but we also have the songs that don't have all that brass. And those actually fit very well in the recordings of the Dissel House and Shaky albums. So much that I actually think 
that uh, these songs might have been recording during that same era. It's a pity, by the way, that there is not a lot of recording information available about shaky stuff. Uh, in, in comparison to, for example, Elvis Presley, there is, his recording sessions are so well documented. You, you, there are books about that uh, that you can read with dates and musicians involved and, and, and like diaries of what happened in the studio, all that stuff. It's really nice to read if you really want to dig in into that stuff. But if you dig in into Shaking's recording history, there's not a lot to be found. And I, sometimes I feel that some of the songs he, he put on his albums uh, were actually recorded earlier. And I think in this case, if you look at a couple of those songs, for example, uh, the song uh, Don't Tell Me, um, Too Too Much, for example, uh, surely those are songs that feel like they could have fitted perfectly on This Whole House or Shaky. And then when you look at the, the guest musicians here, it's are those songs without the brass section that actually have the same band members as the ones that were also recording on This Whole House and Shaky. So that makes me think that these songs are actually recorded during the same era. Uh, listening this back to back with the CD version, um, again, I, I, like they try to upgrade the sound, but the sound of the original is already amazing. I did though uh, spot a huge difference between the Ojuli version on this album and the Ojuli version on the box set. I couldn't help but thinking that they used a different vocal for the CD version that is in the box set, which of course is the same uh, remaster as they also used in the uh, 2009 uh, box set edition. Uh, and I just challenge you, just listen to those songs back to back. Uh, you can hear in the way he pronounces, oh Julie, if you love me truly, that it's actually different on the CD than on the vinyl. Uh, it's a funny detail. But of course, uh, if you are a, a regular listener to, of Shaky Stuff and you are used to listening to his stuff on vinyl or the older CDs out there and you listen to the remasters, there are more differences in, in those uh, versions. Uh, some are very subtle and some are really big. Like Green Door, for example, is a huge difference and some of the other songs on the different albums also. Uh, so if you are, um, if you, if you, you know, if you are Shaky Stevens, collector and you only have the recent remasters uh, you sh you surely have to get uh, into the vinyls also because you will hear a lot of differences there in in the songs uh, but this is a great album guys it's uh, shaking stevens it's uh, give me your heart tonight it was released in 1982 it was the follow-up to shaky and um um i think this one together with the previous albums they're really like production wise are really great i can't help but feeling that the production after these albums uh, declined a little bit. Uh, they became more polished, more uh, flat in production. Uh, while I think that here, like the whole, the, the band that we're playing here and the, and the sound is, is, uh, is, is really different. Uh, and especially when you listen to an album like Lipstick Powder and Pain, it's, it's such a huge difference. Sometimes I wish that he would stick to the sound of his earlier recordings. But it's just a personal opinion and we will talk a little bit about that when we get there uh, when i start uh, talking about those albums as well give me your heart tonight i think my most favorite songs on this one are too too much i love that song but still like i say it fits really well into the earlier recordings i love the song you never talked about me he was also playing that during his recent tour uh, and unfortunately they did not include it on his uh, live album which is really a shame don't tell me we're true. I love that song, and uh, and and of course the titles right. Give me your heart tonight. If we talk about the artwork here, I think that if you would bump into this album and you didn't know anything about Shake and Steve at all, you think you would grab a classic album, like a, an album with classic uh, pieces of music, because that's how it looks. But when you listen to it, you get a real rock and roll album, of course. Um, please comment in this video what you think about the album. Uh, tell me what your favorite songs are. Tell me what your least favorite song is. Tell me what you like about the production and if you agree with some of the things I said. And uh, I would be very, very happy to join you in those discussions. Give me some thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't like the video. And uh, I would highly appreciate it when you did not yet 
to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep you updated on new videos in the future. Let's make this channel grow together. If there's any Shaky Stevens album you want me to talk about, please let me know. And uh, of course, uh, I hope to see you in the next video.